next week, a packed agenda for the plenary week in Strasbourg. Let's take a look at some of the big issues. The burning of a Jordanian pilot is the latest act of depravity by the so-called Islamic State that's even been condemned by Al-Qaeda. EU governments are struggling to find the right response. Passenger name record and now to Frontex that allows member states to coordinate border protection is the latest tool being put forward to try to aid counter-terrorism. The Council and Commission will give their thoughts on how Frontex can be used in the future on Wednesday. And don't forget, there'll also be a statement on ISIS by the EU foreign representative Federica Mogherini on Thursday. The findings of a report by the US Senate have shed light on torture techniques used by the CIA in the years following 9-11 and have reignited the debate over intelligence gathering, a debate that becomes ever the more important as member states look to find ways to counter terrorism. Waterboarding, sleep deprivation and various forms of humiliation, techniques that US President Barack Obama said the US would never resort to again. The methods that are believed to have led to tracking down Osama bin Laden. MEPs will debate the report and vote on a resolution on Wednesday. What goes into processed foods like lasagna, spaghetti bolognese created quite a storm when we all realized that in fact, unwittingly, we were eating horse meat. The scandal is now well past its sell-by date, but can we trust our meat? Some MEPs are calling for the commission to re-examine country of origin labeling and make it compulsory on processed meat. But others say it won't prevent another horse meat type scandal. See how that vote goes on Wednesday. And finally, at the plenary, MEPs were looking to setting up a special committee to look into the LuxLeaks scandal and also expect a statement on the ECB's cancelling of Greek bonds used as payment for debt. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.